Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting system of equations. We have x y over x plus y equals two, x z over x plus z equals four, and y z over y plus z equals eight. Here, x y, x z, and y z are all products. We don't write a multiplication symbol when you have two variables next to each other. That means multiplication, unless stated otherwise. Sometimes we do write two-digit, three-digit numbers using A, B, C, or X, Y, Z as digits, and those are going to be exceptions, and it's usually either there is a bar on top of the letters or the variables or the digits, or it is stated explicitly in the problem. So we have these three equations, and we're going to be solving for X, Y, and Z values. So when you look at an equation like this, one of the things that you should probably think about is cross multiplication. So what happens if I cross multiply? I get xy equals 2x plus 2y, and then I get xz, which is the product again, equals 4x plus 4z, and yz equals 8y plus 8z. Suppose you add these two equations up, what would you get? You would be getting xy plus xz plus yz, equals 2x plus 4x, that's going to be 6x, and then we have 2y plus 8y, which is 10y, and finally plus 12z. Now, this doesn't really seem to help much, but let me tell you something. When you have a system of equations, and you could be given this system, because obviously uh, these systems are pretty much equivalent, except for the fact that, you know, in the first case, x plus y, x plus z, and y plus z cannot be zero, in the second case scenario that we don't have that restriction. Make sense? So th these are general strategies that we use with systems, add them up, you know, cross multiply, subtract, multiply, divide, whatever. We're gonna use a very different strategy here for this system because this is kind of like an interesting system disguised as a difficult problem. So here's what we're gonna do. When you see the product and the sum, that should make you think to flip. Why? Because if you consider the following, xy over x plus y is equal to 2, what is the reciprocal of this expression? It is x plus y over xy. And it's always good to have a product at the bottom because then you can split up this into two fractions. So like when you add two fractions with the same or different denominators, suppose you have a over, P plus, a over B plus C over D, obviously this is going to turn into AD plus BC over BD, if there's no common factors, or you can simplify, right? And si since you could do this addition problem, you could also undo the addition problem by splitting this into a sum of two fractions. Make sense? So that's what we're going to do here. A this is equivalent to X over XY plus y over xy equals one half. Notice that I flipped both sides because the reciprocal of two is one half. Now, what is so good about this? You can go ahead and simplify this. This is going to turn into something real nice. So this equation is gonna give you one over x plus one over y equals one half. That is the very first equation we're gonna get from here. What about the second one? Same thing, you're just going to flip and then split. Okay, makes sense? And when you do that, let's do it. Okay, so just to show you the process here. So we have xz over x plus z equals 4. And now we're going to flip x plus z over xz, which can be written as 1 over x plus 1 over z. I hope you got that idea. Equals 1 fourth. That's another equation that I'm going to be using. And the last one, last but not least whatever that means, yz over y plus z is equal to 8, and when you flip y plus z over yz, and you write it that way, this is equivalent to 1 over y, and I'm always writing things in alphabetical order, you know, because of OST, not OST, what is that, OCD, and this becomes 1 over 8. So we got three equations, I hope I, you can see them all at the same time, I don't know, sometimes it just doesn't fit the screen, but I'm going to put it together one more time. So we have these equations, and we're going to solve this as a system now. So let me rewrite my equations. 1 over x plus 1 over y is equal to 1 half. 1 over x plus 1 over z is equal to 1 fourth from, from flipping and splitting. And then 1 over y plus 1 over z is equal to 1 over 8. So our system looked hard, and it looked non-standard, but now we kind of turned it into a standard system of equations. Why do I call it standard? 
because if you just add these equations up, you're just going to solve it real quick. So we have 1 over x plus 1 over x, that is 2 times 1 over x or 2 over x. And then we get 2 over y, and then we get 2 over z. And then on the right hand side we have 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth, which obviously I could write this as 4 eighths. Uh oh. And then I could write the second one as 2 eighths, right? And then I could just add these up as 7 over 8. Great. Now notice that I can take out a 2, and that would give me the magical expression or the math magical expression. And uh, Upon multiplication by one half, you will get the sum of the reciprocals 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z as 7 over 16. Since 7 is an odd number, I have to multiply the denominator by 2 to divide by 2. Make sense? Or multiply by one half, same thing. So we got this sum, which is nice because it's the sum of the three reciprocals, and I got the two-way sums, which means what? Now, one of the ideas for solving this type of system is take number one and number two and subtract, right? So you could also do the following. Subtract this equation, so the second equation from the first one. One over x is going to cancel out and you're going to end up with one fourth. And then from here you're going to get one over y plus one over, I'm sorry, one over y minus one over z is equal to one fourth. And then use along with the last equation and that's going to give you the value of y real quick. So that's one way to approach it. But I kind of wanted to use something symmetrical. So I added them all up, divide by 2, and now I have the sum of 3. So since I have these two-way sums, I can go ahead and subtract each one from this to get the answer. So, for example, 1 over x plus 1 over y is 1 half. So if this is 1 half, by subtraction I get 1 over z. So 1 over z is going to be 7 over 16 minus 1 half. In other words, if you want to find any of the reciprocal of these variables, take one of these equations that don't have that variable and then subtract the answer from 7 over 16, which is the three-way sum. Make sense? I hope it does. So from here we get 1 over z equals 7 over 16 minus 8 over 16 is going to be negative 1 over 16. And by flipping, you're going to get z equals negative 16. Great, that's done. What about the second one? 1 over x plus 1 over z. So 1 over y is going to be 7 over 16 minus the second sum, which is 1 fourth. But this is just 4 over 16. And that's going to give us 3 over 16, which means y is going to be 16 over 3. And then the last one is going to give us, if we subtract it from the 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z, well, that's going to give us 1 over x. So 1 over x is going to be 7 over 16 minus 1 over 8, which can be written as 2 over 16. That's going to be 5 over 16. If you flip, x is going to be 16 over 5. And there's only one solution because we can't find any other solutions. So that's going to basically give us all the number values. So let's go ahead and write it as an order triple, 16 over 5, 16 over 3, and for z we got negative 16. And if you don't believe that, you can go ahead and plug it in and check it out. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.